Hey, I'm Tim, licensed loan officer. Hope you're doing well. I'm blessed. I'm alive. Thanks so much for talking to me or checking out my video. I really appreciate it. So today I want to talk about credit. Um, I still talk to people that are working on their credit, need a little help. And I want to make this video and just uh, give you all that information. Uh, you don't have to necessarily pay for this information. Um, I can teach you the game, especially if you're looking to buy a home, get into the real estate game. Um, I can get you there. Um, I have a proven track record. I'll help you. So let me go ahead and roll the intro and then we're going to get right into it. Perfect. So we're back here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about building and establishing credit fast for a mortgage. That's what we're going to talk about. And that's what I'm going to give you this information, this, this game and really help you. So if you take this advice, if you watch all this, uh, you will be prepared uh, and it, you won't have any issues. Okay. So I want to just welcome you to my channel first and just tell you a little bit about me. I am a licensed loan officer. My name is Tim Tom Koviak and my license number is one eight, six, six, seven, three, one. So I went through a federal background check. I passed a test. They checked my credit. So I am licensed to give you this advice and uh, get you together. Okay. And I want to just read this real quick here just so you can learn a little bit about me. As a seasoned loan officer, I am dedicated to providing exceptional service and guide you through the entire home process. I am committed to my clients from start from the very first conversation to extend to closing. So I'll be with you from the start. This is the start getting ready till closing. And I take a uh, priority in educating my clients. And that's what we're doing here. I'm going to educate you, give you the game. And so you can feel confident with a mortgage solution uh, that I provide. Okay. Now, uh, before we actually get into it, I want to show you something here. If I could um, figure that out here, I want to show you something. Um, but I want to show you something here. Uh, where we go? I want to show you um, my credit karma real quick here. It's important I show you this um, because as you see here, my credit karma, um, 809 and 805. So just so you know, credit karma is not all the way accurate, but we're going to use it. I want you to use credit karma because it has good advice. Okay. And as you can see here, can you see this? Let me see if I can write on this. Can I write on this? Um, yeah, I can. Let me write on this string for you real quick here. Okay, here we go. And let's zoom in. Let's make this big. Let's zoom in on this, okay? And what I want to show you this is that these are credit factors, okay? What you want to do, and we're going to go into presentation, but I want to show you this. 100% payment history. This is on time, okay? 100% make your payments on time. Everything on your credit report, pay it on time. And other things that aren't on your credit report, pay it on time. If you don't pay a light bill, it can go here, okay? They'll send that to collection, and that's going to hurt you, okay? And that's high impact. Secondly, you don't want to use too much credit under 30%, okay? So if you have a card that's $200, you know, your limit, that's your available credit. You just take that and time it by 0.3 equals $60, okay? You don't want to use too much credit. If you use too much credit, they're going to penalize you, okay? 
and you don't want any negative remarks. If you have anything in collection, these are co these are collections and things like that. If you have any collections, um, call them, negotiate it. Usually they will give it to, give you a little discount and set up a payment plan. Secondly, time. It takes time. It took me seven years to get this. Okay, and that's you know medium impact. Okay, time's not that important. It's medium. These first three are very important. Okay. So a late payment can stay on your report for seven years, or in seven years you can have e excellent credit. And in accounts, you 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 want accounts. You don't want to just have one or two accounts. You need to have accounts. And I'm gonna go over how to get accounts, okay? And then hard inquiries. You don't want to. It's low impact, but you see that's red. You you don't want to keep applying for credit, okay? So let's go back to the presentation here. And let's get into it, okay? So with credit, there are three main players, okay? Three players. And these players are Equifax, Trans, I'm sorry, Equifax, um, Experian, TransUnion. These are basically agencies, okay? And these agencies all have a different rating, they all have different um, R the rhythm, okay? You want them all three um, to to like you, okay? You want them to like you, okay? I'm sorry I can't write, but I mean, you want them to like you, okay? Because if they don't like you, because you do something they don't like, like a late payment or don't pay something, when you go to apply for a mortgage or you apply for a car, what happens is that you apply for something, you know, you apply, let's say for a card and that card sends it to all three and they do pay them by the way. And then they send back information. Okay. And then every month they're sending them information every month. They're reporting on you. Okay. So you want them to like you now for a lender. What we use for your credit store, you should have three. Now, we don't use the highest and we don't use the lowest. We use the middle, okay? So, you don't have to really focus too much on them because if you pay your t bills on time, um, if you pay your bills on time, they're going to report that. And that's going to help you, okay? And um, that's what you want to do. Pay your bills on time, and you want to continue to use it, and they're going to say good things. They can't say anything negative if you pay it on time, okay? So let's go to the next one. Credit is a relationship, okay? You have a relationship with these three people, okay? You, do, you want TransUnion, Equifax, and Experia to like you, okay? And the way they're going to like you is by you opening up a credit card or a secure credit card, okay? And the reason you're opening it up is to show them that you could use money and pay it back so they can send it to them and, and say good things about you, okay, reporting. So you every month, like me, over the last seven years, Every single month, I have bought gas with a credit card, and I set up automatic bill pay, and I you know three four hundred dollars I don't know, and it comes out of my bank account. Okay, every month, it comes out. Sometimes my checking account has more money in it, but that's only because I'm using my credit card, and I'm paying it full, and I'm not using too much, and then they're reporting good things for me. Okay. So it's a relationship. Think about a relationship. You want to get to know somebody, you know, do what they like, make them like you, pay them on time. And we, we really don't know everything about these people. Like they all have different, like if you see, there, there's always different ones, you know, they're different credit stores because they have different ratings. But generally speaking, what we know is that they like on time payments and they like not using too much credit. And um, we, we, we want that. Okay. And this is credit. It's kind of a mystery. It really is. Because how can you, you know, how can you um, have a card and have three different credit stores? You know, how can they, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's kind of a mystery. 
Um, one reason is because possibly they, um, like I said, have different rating systems or different some some credit cards only report to two barrels or one barrel or you know different things. But generally speaking, this is what you want. This is what you want. See on time payments, thirty five percent. So that's huge, thirty five percent, and one late payment can damage you a hundred points. One late payment can take away, you know, a lot of months of like one late payment can take away six on time payments. Think about that. So they get very mad, TransUnion, Equifax, if you don't pay on time. Um, the next one would be utilization. That means using too much credit. Remember I told you two hundred. Remember I told you two hundred times 0.3 don't use more than 30 percent okay you're just using it to build credit and later on we'll talk about how to make money with credit there's a lot of ways you can make money with credit that we'll get into and next one time see time is only 15 percent the biggest things is your payment history you know you know you know and the, the best thing is utilization. Those are the big ones. So let's just talk about that real quick. Let's go back. If you just pay on time and don't use too much credit, that's 65% of your credit just there. And then the new credit. So after you master paying on time and not using too much credit, then, and, and, and time takes care of itself. So if you start using credit wisely every month, paying on time every month, now it's time to have more, more accounts. So your favorite store, my favorite store is Macy's. Every once in a while, I go there and buy a sweatshirt. Open a card there. A store card helps your, your, your credit mix, okay? Now, you don't need a bunch of credit cards, but you're going to start off with a secure card or credit card. You're going to do that for a little while. And then you're going to do a store card. Um, you're going to do different accounts. You need a few different accounts. But this is how it works, okay? That's the game, okay? Take your time, you know? Take your time. Start with a credit card. Start with one and, you know, build it up, okay? So just take your time. You know, just focus on on-time payment. The best way is automatic withdrawal. As soon as I get a card, I log into the app, I go online, I put in my bank account, my routing number, and I set it to either the minimum payment or the full payment. But it's never going to be late because I, I put it in the system. And I get notifications too. So if it doesn't come out, um, like they'll, they'll email you, hey, your bill is due. I'll go ahead and pay it. I've had that problem before. Something did not come out and it sent me an email, hey, your, your bill is late. And I immediately paid it. Okay. So that's how they're going to like you, okay? On-time payments, not using too much credit, time, um, a little bit of new credit, and things. So over time, and another thing too, in terms of new credit, let me show you something real quick here. Um, I helped my wife build her credit, right? I had her had an authorized user, and she gets these, I, you know, I checked the mail. But these are all credit cards. You're going to start getting these if you follow my advice. But you don't need all these cards, okay? So she has two credit cards and then an authorized account with me. So she has three accounts and she's getting these every single month. Because as your credit builds, they're, they're going to want to trap you. They're going to want to start giving you more accounts and you, you have to be smart, okay? Now, number two. Um, you, you want to use and maintain, pay everything on time. Don't go over that 30%. Remember, if it's 500, time it by 0.3 and don't go over that amount, okay? Uh, don't close any accounts. Sometimes people, you know, get a new card and they close their old card. If you close a card, now... You're going to lose that payment history. You want accounts, okay? So if you have a credit card and you get a new credit card, just use that new credit card and pay the other one off, but keep that one, okay? Just put it in a folder, put it somewhere at home, but do not close it, okay? 
They want to see accounts open for a long time in good standings. Um, you see payment history and time. See, time helps accounts. So if you close an account, you can lose time and payment history, okay? So be, be careful of that, okay? Let's see. So what are some of the benefits? Like, why are you doing all this? You know, why are you worried about your credit? Like, like why does it matter, okay? It matters because companies care. You know, car insurance is going to talk to Experian. They're going to talk to those credit people and say, do they make their other payments? Should we give them a low quote on a car? Are they responsible? Interest rates. You want to use money. You know, I would much rather borrow 200000 instead of being a Dave Ramsey guy and saving 200000 But you need a payment history because if you don't have a payment history, they're going to give you a high rate. You're high risk. Uh, what's your pass? Have you paid things on time? You know, so you're going to lower rate. So basically with having good credit is that you save money. Lower rate means you get a lower payment and it paid off quicker. Buy now, pay later. So, you know, at the store, you know, sometimes you may want to get 20% off. You have to be conscious. You don't want to open too many accounts. But every once in a while, if you like something and you're going to shop at this store, you might want to pay it in 30 days. There's nothing wrong with that. No co-signers, okay? You know, who wants to ask someone else to co-sign for them? A co-signer means is that we don't trust you that much. We're going to give you a loan, but you have to get someone else to say if you run in trouble, they're going to make the payments. It's, you don't want co-signers, you know, let's be adults here, okay? Employers, like my job, they check my credit because I work in the financial industry with banks. So it's becoming more and more popular that they're going to start doing it. Security deposit, same thing with utilities. Utilities run a soft pull, so it doesn't show up. But they have technology where they send money to those Equifax, Xperia, and they get data on you. If they get bad data on you, they're not. They're going to say, hey, we need to deposit because we don't trust you that you're going to make your water bill or your cable bill. We don't trust you. So, yeah. Um, and then you save. You can use money that's not yours. So it's really good to borrow money, go and make money, and pay it back. So it, it's fixing – get your credit together because your whole life – you're going to want to use a little bit of credit and having your credit together it's going to it's going to help you. And this is just a few things. It's going to be it's way more things that it, it can help you with, okay? So start off right. Start off right. So many people I've talked to, they they get a medical bill even though medical bills we we don't count towards, you know, we don't hold against you in mortgage world, but it's still something you didn't pay. You know, so st don't start off with late payments. Don't and then late payments turn into a gregatory remark, and then they turn into a collection, and then they turn into a charge off. So a late payment is a late payment is after thirty days. Then it goes on your credit because they're going to report it. Then they they sell it to a collection. You know, they sell it. And then after seven years, it comes off. So that's the process. And then look at this. Equifax, look what they said. Seven years. So if you start off behind, if you already break the relationship, you know, if you already piss off, if you piss the, these people off right here. Um, yeah, where are they at? <laughs> where are they at? Um, right here. If you if you already piss them off, um, Equifax, Xperia, uh, right here. If you make them mad, right here. If you make them mad, they're not. And now you need a car. Now you need to rent because they check for rent. Now you want to buy a mortgage. You're gonna have to work double because you broke that relationship. They don't trust you. They're gonna bury you, and you're gonna have to do way more work. Okay. Start off right. 
You know, that that's the biggest thing. If you, if, if you already start off wrong, set up payment plans. So if you have a payment plan and you show that to a lender, they are more likely to work with you. So you don't need a higher credit score. You still want over 700, I'm sorry, over 600, minimums over 600. And payment plans. Payment plans show that you're working on it. And it reports to them that you're you're working on it. So they'll be a little bit nicer to you. Okay? So start off right. But if you already start off wrong, make it right. Go back and negotiate. Start reading how to settle collections, how to fix it, okay? It's very important because if you don't start off right, you're behind. Now you're behind, you got to do a little extra work, okay? If you be, it's, not, it's not over, but you got to do a little bit extra work, okay? Start off right. Don't make Equifax, Xperia, or TransUnion mad at you, okay? Don't get them mad at you, okay? And now, we understand that, that things happen in life, you know? People get sick, lose their job. Things happen, okay? But if you legitimately owe it, you know, if you duly owe the collection, do not try to dispute everything. If you try to dispute everything uh, with a mortgage, they're going to ask you to remove the dispute. Okay, some people think they're just going to dispute everything. If you owe it, pay it. Set up a payment plan, $20, $30 a month. Show that you're trying to reconcile the situation and have a good relationship with credit, okay? So if you start, if, so if you, if you start off a little behind, set up those payment plans. And then after you set up your payment plans, then do your secure card or credit card and start doing what I said by starting that relationship, using and paying back every single month, automatic uh, payment, okay? Um, let's just talk about the different types of accounts here. So a revolving account is a credit card. And we also call that open in. Open in means it's you pay it, use it, pay it. It's, 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 it, it's not an ending. Okay. A installment loan is close in. Okay. Close in. And what that means, you have X amount of payments X amount of time and it's paid off. So a car, 48 payments, okay? Or 60 payments, you know? That's how that works. Mortgages are close in. You even have a 30 year, 20 year, five year. Car loans are close in. Student loans, 25 years. Um, a charge card is considered open. A charge card is interesting. When you have really good credit, you use it. It has a, a charge card. I don't have any charge cards, but it's cool. You have no limit. So like American Express, it's no limit. You can use it for whatever you want. And I remember, they trust people like that. They don't give it to anyone. It has no limit. Use it for whatever you want, but in 30 days, you have to pay it all off. So whatever you buy, you have to you pay it all off in 30 days. That's how it works. Um, and then but the, the thing about credit cards, which are interesting, is that when you apply for a credit card, they don't verify your income. So whatever you tell them, they send it to those, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, Xperia, and then they give it to you. But they don't ask for pay subs. So they 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 take it, they do a little research with those with those credit bureaus, which you want to be good friends with, and then they give it to you. So by them not asking for pay stubs or anything like that, if if you get a credit card and you're responsible. And they tell, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, and them that, hey, this person's being responsible. You get rewarded. Okay. Now, you do get a little bit with these close in, but not as much. Because with the close in, they already looked at your pay stuff. They said you can afford this for four years. This, so you don't get as much rewarded. But you do get penalized if you don't pay it on time, Okay. So a good way to protect yourself is avoid bad deals, okay? Sometimes people car break, they panic, they run to a dealership, and they get an expensive car they can't afford, and that leads to a repo, okay? Some people help family, you know, we want to help family, and they co-signed. And then the family member doesn't, don't pay. 
Now, if you co-sign, it don't pay, and you don't pay, it damage it both of you. So be very careful. And I, I always tell people, I, I know you want to help people, but are you prepared to make that payment if they don't? If not, you, you should not co-sign. Most co-signers end up, end up failing. That's why they have a co-signer. And then now they, now they damage you and them, okay? So be, I recommend don't even co-sign because if they, if the bank says, hey, I can't give you a loan, but I need you, that, that's a red flag. If, say, hey, why do you need a co-signer? And then help them, you know, show them this video. Um, and don't let one mistake ruin your financing. Some people let a car repo ruin it, a co-signer ruin it. Some people buy a home they, they can't afford. You know, that's another mistake. And I try to avoid that. Um, I try to, you know, set people up for success. I try to do a budget with them. What's your max comfortable payment? Because you have a mortgage payment with a home. And then you have utilities and maintenance and other expenses with a home. And then your lifestyle. Um, things like that. So financing a purchase instead of saving. So sometimes you need to save, okay? Some people finance way too much, okay? And we call that you're overextended, you're over leveraged, okay? And then falling for scams, too many monthly prescriptions, you know. Some, I'm sorry, you can't see that here. Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, falling for scams, sometimes people are identity theft. Um, I don't see that a lot, but that can happen. And then monthly prescriptions, they can add up. But, you know, these, these are very important, you know. Don't set yourself up with a bad car. Don't co-sign for someone who's not worthy. Um, you know, things like that, okay? And then this is very important here. You want to always be saving, okay? Saving, you know. And what I recommend saving is either 10 or 20%. Okay? So if you make $600 a week, um, you need to be saving. So let's take 600, time it by like 0.10. So you need to be saving um, $60, okay? Every paycheck. Because this is what happens. If, if you don't have money, and something happens, which something always happens in life, then you borrow, okay? If you don't have money, what do you do? You borrow, and then you pay interest, okay? And then it never repeats itself. It's way easy to borrow from yourself, you know, grab this money, pay the bill, and pay yourself back. Always save. You can lose a job. Savings has made, have helped me. You get your tax return, save. Always save. Always have a, a plan B, a backup plan, okay? Have a saving goal, okay? A goal. How much do you need to save? How much do you feel comfortable? What's your number? And if you don't have money to save, maybe you're not making enough money. Maybe you need a side gig. You always need to save, okay? Have a saving goal. Um, and this is also important, too. Help your spouse or significant other. So if you have a girlfriend or boyfriend, make sure they're saving. Make sure they're improving their credit, okay? I've seen it too many times where one person has all the credit, all the debt, and the other person has the income or vice versa, okay? You guys both need to be on the same page. You cannot be with somebody if they won't improve their credit, if they won't save, okay? You guys don't align, okay? So you can try to help them, but it's going to be very difficult when you're trying to buy a $300,000 house with two income, but you only can use one income because they don't, they haven't improved their credit. Okay. It's very difficult to, to get a mortgage when you have two car loans because you co-sign for them. Okay. So help other people. Okay. Help, you know, help, you know, your, you know, help your, 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 your boyfriend or spouse. Okay. You got to help them. Too many people, you know, just think, Oh, one of us got credit. We're good. No, you know, both of you guys, need to have credit, okay? Both of you guys need to have credit, okay? Saving goal and help them, okay? I want both of you to have goals, both of you to have income, both of you have savings, both of you have credit, okay? 
Uh, very important. And this is another important retirement. Okay, we got to think about retirement. We're not we're not going to work forever. Do, do you have a four hundred one k at your job? I'm, I I can't write. I'm I'm new to this. Okay, I'm I'm still learning how to work this. Okay, at, at your job, you know, always sign up. A lot of times they'll match three percent. Now, if they do not have a 401k, you may want to do Acorn, Vanguard. There's a lot of different savings, but watch out their fees. But set it up where it comes out of your account every single week or every other week when you get paid because you need to save. And the good news is that when you have this money saved, you're, ideally you're not supposed to use it. So do a small amount where you don't have to use it because you need to not only save for your rainy day three to six months, but you need to save for retirement. Um, let me see if I have room here. So you want to save for retirement. That's one account. That's a retirement. And then you want to save rainy day. So you have two. Okay. Two savings account. Okay. That this is what you're going to do. One, and if you do it right, you're going to have money in both. You know, you're going to have lots of money. And if you're using credit responsibly, um, it's going to work fine. Now you can use credit. You can use savings. You know, it, it, it's unbelievable, okay? Um, a strong relationship with credit. Yep, so make sure you use credit every month. So don't forget about credit. Don't pay it off and stop using it every single month. Use a little bit of credit. Um, use that automatic bill pay. And then after a few months, open a new account. After a few months, if, if you master using a credit card, get a reward credit card with no annual fee. Get a store card, okay? Uh, maybe get a lease. I don't like lease, but a car loan. You want to have a couple of accounts, and it's the same thing. You want to pay it on time, responsibly, every single month. And some ways to do it fast is an authorized user. Authorized user just means that I done with my wife. It just means you call them up, you give them their date of birth, social, and they send them a same card with the same number. Now, ideally, they don't really need it. You keep it, but now they can get credit. You're helping someone, basically. You're letting them use your credit, but you don't have to let them use your credit. You just let them be an authorized user. So they, they're authorized to use your card, but you don't have to actually let them use it. But you can, someone could do that for you. Mom, dad can add you as an authorized user and tell them, I don't want to use your card. I just want to be an authorized user to piggyback off some of your payment history. And that's going to boost you because what's going to happen if they have a card for $5,000 and you're, you have access to that $5,000, the credit people think that if that person adds you as an authorized user, you must be trustworthy and it gives you credit for that. Okay. You can also go to Xperia Boost and add maybe some rent or utilities. And then either a secure card or a credit card. And then time. Let it work. You know, build that relationship. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. But it can happen. Um, and then another way is after a few months, open another account, repeat the process, have a minimum of three trade lines. Trade lines are just accounts. That's another word for accounts, okay? And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, okay? I mean, that's it. Um, I know that was a little long, but I hope this was helpful and got you together. Um, if you have more questions on credit, let me know. Comment. Text me. I have some additional resources. I can drop some more knowledge. Every situation a little bit different. But you want to have great credit. It's going to help you throughout your lifetime. And that's all I have for you. So thanks so much. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks.